Hi everyone, it's Kent Langley with another episode of Little Things You Should Know. Today, I want to talk, I've been wanting to do this one for a while. This one came from an episode of a show on YouTube called Everyday Astronaut. It was an interview uh, of Elon Musk while he was walking through Starbase. So, the little thing you should know today is five things that Elon Musk says you need to consider pretty much if you're gonna do anything important. The five things are going to come in order here and then we'll do a review. So the first of the five things that Elon Musk shares with us is make your requirements less dumb. Now, honestly, you might find that a little bit off-putting, but it's clear and to the point. So just think through what you're asking people to do and ask yourself, does that make sense? Is it too much? Is it overcomplicated? Is there any way you can make it a little more clear, right? As said, less dumb. That's thing number one. The second thing is to try and delete parts of the process. Now this is really important. So what we're talking about is when, let's just say you have 28 steps in a recipe and you think, wow, this is just gonna take forever. Could you delete five or six of those steps and end up with something just as delicious at the end? Maybe. Just maybe. And if that's true, then those five steps don't need to be there. Now, if you take the salt out and then at the end it tastes terrible and flat, well, you've broken it. That doesn't work. So you simplified something and it didn't work. Put it back. It's totally okay. One of the bits of wisdom shared here was that if you're not deleting at least 10% of the process repeatedly and frequently, then you're probably not deleting enough. And again, if you take it out, it breaks things, put it back. It's okay. Third thing, simplify or optimize. So what are we talking about here? Once you've done the first two things, you've tried to make your requirements less dumb, and then you've tried to re delete things that don't matter, now you can simplify or optimize the process. I think of this as load, like what's the load on the team? How much time does it take? Is there any way to get from point A to B uh, a little bit uh, more efficiently. It's a funny example, but it's kind of like the way slime mold works. Slime mold is able to, to do route finding more efficiently than many computers. And so that's just one of those things where what we need to do is think about how can we simplify or optimize uh, the process overall now that we've removed parts and we've made the requirements less dumb. The fourth thing is to accelerate cycle time. Now that you've gotten to this point, what you can do is you can try to do it faster. So do what you've optimized, do what you've reduced the complexity on, do what you've made the requirements less dumb, and now you can accelerate cycle time. This is awesome because now you can go faster and you won't fall on your face. If you try though to go faster before you do the other things, you are quite likely to smash right into the wall and not enjoy very much the bloody nose, right? So take your time, get here, do things right, then you can go faster. It's kind of magical. One more to go. Number five, automate. One word, automate. Now I'll ask you though, if you automate before you optimize, or you automate before you find the optimal speed, or you automate before you reduce the requirements of the complexity, what's going to happen? You're gonna be automating a ton of stuff that you do not need to automate this would be the worst thing possible and you know musk admits there's been times when he's made this mistake we all make this mistake and in fact sometimes we can't even see that things could be reduced or could be less complex or could be made less dumb we need other eyes to see that sometimes we need fresh eyes who haven't been in it and in the weeds for so long but when you get to this point and you're able to automate what happens is magical because this is where the efficiencies come it starts to just kind of look like magic because everybody doesn't even understand why you're able to go so fast and do so much and it just make it look easy. But look, it's not easy at all to get to this point. So let's review the five things that Musk says, or five rules, if you wish, Musk's rules. I don't know if he really has a name for them, but the five things were to make your requirements less dumb, try and delete parts of the process, simplify or optimize, accelerate cycle time, and automate. Definitely take the time to go watch the original material on the channel Everyday Astronaut. 
There are three parts to the interview, and this was just one tiny little piece. If you are enjoying the videos, then please do me a favor, give me a like, hit the subscribe button. It really means a lot to the channel overall. And I, it just in the first nine videos of this series, I've seen a great improvement in overall watches and views and visits and comments. I put the source code to one of the episodes up on GitHub for the folks that were asking. And I, I am enjoying this very much and been getting great feedback. So I'll keep going and I'll keep trying to get better at it along the way. It's giving me a new way uh, to share and to think. So that's the little thing you should know today. Have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are.